Hi everyone, it's Tammy with Flu for Fru Studio and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, um, welcome. I'm glad that you are all with me today for um, this week's Color Combo 2024. As you can see, I have a big pile of stuff sitting here on my desk. And we're going to attempt to do this week's prompts, which are the shape of a cloud and the color silver. So, I went through and um, picked out some things. And uh, hopefully we're going to make kind of like a belly band with a... a tuck spot on the top and um and i'm making it for this journal which is going to be my apothecary journal and you can see i've already done a couple of things um in it and um so what i want to do is incorporate this week's prompts into a piece of ephemera that I can use in that journal if I can get my thoughts straight. I hope everyone had a wonderful Easter with your family, even if you don't celebrate. Um, I hope you had a great weekend. And um, I know in Europe, and um, I think the Netherlands as well. It's a two-day celebration. So you celebrated Sunday and Monday. Um, and I hope everyone had great weather and a great time with your family and loved ones. So I've got an idea um, and we're going to do kind of a literal cloud shape and kind of a, you know, if you squint your eyes and close one, you might see a cloud. <laughs> so, the first thing I did is Tim Holtz has this piece of ephemera that is just, it was plain with clouds on it. So, this is the literal. And I took... Um, this stamp, which is a postcard stamp, and it is, uh, Stampendous, and I believe I got this at Hobby Lobby. It could have been Joann's, but I think it was Hobby Lobby. Um, and I just stamped it on here with some permanent archival ink and put a vintage postage stamp on there. And so, I'm going to use that as a journaling card that goes behind our kind of belly band thing here. Which, this is uh, just cardstock um, with uh, one of Crafty Cat's digitals on it. Which is from the, I think this is from the Peeling Paint and wallpaper set but it's just like a pink kind of a pinky lace and then I stitched a piece of lace on top of that and then went around that with a zigzag stitch and on the back it has some pink dyed paper that I got from um, Godspeed on Etsy. So, that's going to be, and it wouldn't have mattered what was on the back. I just wanted to cover up the stitching so that when the card slides in and out, it's not sticking on any of that stitching. And the other thing that I have that I'm going to put behind here is a vintage library uh, index card. And... Um, just so I can include a vintage piece in this. And the name of the book is Shamanism. And it was a book that was printed in uh, 
by Princeton University in 1964. And so I was thinking that that's, you know, the shaman were the medicine men. So that kind of fits into the category. So I'm just going to ink around that and I'm not going to do anything else to it because I kind of like it how it is. So these two cards will stick behind here. Okay, now the next thing I did is I took a die cut and I cut out some of these shapes, which to me, if like I said, if you squint and close one eye, kind of look like a cloud. And I'm going to do some, I got something on that already, already. Um, embossing and some, um, uh, this, <laughs> a, a paint marker, a silver Sharpie paint marker, and, um, that's going to incorporate some of my silver. So, let's do the embossing first. I am going to use this stamp which has a bunch of numbers on it and it's math notes by creative expressions and it's a sample design and i just want to get some numbers in the background um so that i can emboss them in silver so let's get my book over here so i can dump my excess um, embossing powder. I'm having trouble speaking today or thinking. I think I'm trying to think ahead and it's messed me up. I just need to be doing one step at a time instead of my brain trying to be three steps ahead. Okay, I think that's on there. I need to order a new, and I keep telling myself this every time I go to emboss, that I need to order a new embossing pad. Let me see how this one is. And I never remember until I go to use it. Isn't that the case? I need to do like a list, like you do your shopping list. I need to do a craft supply list. Like, I need craft supplies, but, you know, there are some stuff that you have to, that you have to renew every once in a while. Alright, now I'm going to take just silver embossing powder, and this is Ranger. I'm going to sprinkle that on here. Oh, Tammy, don't put the top back on it. You got to dump the excess back in the bottle. I pick it up with my tweezers. And that's just going to give us just a few little numbers on there yep i think that'll work because i've got another another one i'm going to use too so we're going to start with this one let me put my powder back in the jar do that off to the side so it doesn't end up all over my desk because that drives me crazy Okay, I'm going to hold this down to the side so you're not totally deafened by the heat too.
Okay, so now we have one layer of silver. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little stamp, which is from this set. In this set, I got from my Cora Create box. Um, it doesn't have a name or anything on it. So I can't give you a name for it or who made it. But um, it has just like some text in this little seal. And I'm going to put it right here, but I'm going to do it in a uh, Ranger hi uh, Hickory Smoke embossing glaze because I want a little bit of a different color than the regular silver. And this is a little darker, or this is a little darker. So let's see if we can get that. on here, not upside down would be good, okay, and bring my book back over here, and we'll put the hickory smoke on there. Alright, and I'm going to emboss that real quick. Okay, so now that's what we have. It's kind of a two-tone looking thing. So now I'm going to take the silver Sharpie and I'm going to go around the edges to make it look like an apothecary label. And I'm just going to try to get a nice even line. all the way around I found the easiest way to do this is to be kind of See, I made that fat, so now it's going to look weird. All right, let's try to even that up a little bit. It's to be like halfway on the label and halfway on the book page. And that way, it kind of keeps you even. And that's why I cut more than one in case I mess this one up. So bad I couldn't use it. But I think it's going to be alright. All 
All right. So now we have our little label, and I'm going to ink around it with Vintage Photo. Just kind of bring that edge out a little bit more. out of the way so we've got a little bit more room to work all right so I'm gonna put two silver grommets here and here and So let's do that next. I don't want to put my focal point on here until I get through all these other pieces and make sure that I'm not going to mess it up. Unplug my hole here so I can see where I'm poking my hole. Adjust my guide so we can get to the same on both sides. I don't know about you guys, but my guide does not work well on my... Crocodile, it's like a fight with it. See, I don't want it that far in. Okay, now we'll put our little sewer things in here. Okay, now turn it upside right. So far, so good. All right, so I have some mushrooms here. Well, let's do this first. Let's make my little tag first, and this is going to be our another little cloud shape in a way, if I can get it up in there. I'm going to make a little tag out of this, if I can get it. To slide up in there, the corner doesn't want to work. There we go. Okay, so now we have, that is not even, are you kidding me? No, it should be even. Well, now I really messed it up. 
Okay, so we're going to do another one of these. I wasn't expecting to mess this up. <clears throat> but I did, and I don't think I can fix it. <clears throat> All right. Where's my paper? could just cut it off. That's, that's going to be easier. Let me just cut it off and we'll do it that way. Because <clears throat> it was too long. I hadn't cut it to length anyway. So this is going to be a lot easier to just take the top off and try again. Let me see. Now that does 1.5. Or two inch. Uh, so it's not either of those. It's not square. That is the problem. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to try this again and see if we can get it in the middle this time. That's still weird. Why is that doing so weird? It's going to be too short by the time I get through messing it up. I'm going to try one more time. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to put a hole reinforcer on there. Let's ink around it. A whole reinforcer. Get my garbage out of the way. Now I'm going to make a little bow with this kind of silvery creakable seam binding.
stuck. There we go. Oh, it's because I've got one of those. Circles from the whole reinforcers on my fingernail. I was like, why is everything sticking to me? Trim those just a little bit. And then I have this cute silver button that I'm going to put on there and I'm gonna just do, do I wanna do this on here? Yeah, just gonna do a little clustery thing, I think, and put that. Maybe some of this kind of meshy looking stuff that's got some silver on it. And I've got some green. And I thought I had a little piece of lace laying up here too, but maybe not. I'm flying one really quick. my button I may not put that on there I may put that on here because I could put it on here like a tab no that's not where I want it I want it on the card on there So we'll put that on there in a minute. All right, so let's do our focal point on here. And I'm gonna use these mushrooms. What color do I want? I think I want those. So I'm gonna do some mushrooms. I've got some Text. I don't want to cover up all my silver. And then I've got a little one of Tim Holtz Curator labels. Yep. down first. And the mushrooms. I'm going to use art glitter glue for that because they're more like a cardstock die cut kind of thing. 
plus I can use the little bitty nozzle to get those little stems. And then let's put our little label on here. And then I'm going to poke a hole in that and put a little silver brad. Okay, all right, so this is our belly band. This is going to go on there like that. And I'm gonna put some tape on the back of that just to make sure that my tag doesn't hang on that little brad. I'm just using masking tape. You could use washi tape or whatever you wanted to. It's not. Anything very critical. It's just to keep that from catching. So it's going to go on here like this and it might be cute to no I sort of say it might be cute to run a piece of string through there but I think because we have the bow and all that it it would be too much going on so I'm not going to do that but I so what's going to happen is I'm going to glue this on here on the two ends like that and then this will slide in here like this and then when it glues on the page we'll glue here here and here and then this will slide in the side like that. I think I still like the idea of putting the button up there. Maybe we'll just put the button up there. Or we could put it down here and it would not be in the way of that tag. Nope. Really like it right there. And I think that's where I'm going to put it.
okay and then we want to do just the two outer edges here Then we've got our little postcard with clouds and we've got our little library card. So when it goes on the page, let me get my glue closed up here and we will look at it on the page. Alright, so if we get, sorry if I just knocked you. So if we get our journal here and find a page, let's see. I have some of that pink paper in here. Alright, so if we glue this here, like that, and actually we could do it there. We could do it on the text page and then we could flip these around this way so at this point we could use this one either way and this would tuck in there like that or you could put it on this side and they would tuck that way And if you wanted to not do it on the solid page, but you wanted to do it on the digital page, like that, you could still, you wouldn't be able to see the digital very much, but you could do it on that kind of page as well. So there we go. And look good here with the coffee dyed paper and then this this way do it come on like that so that's this week not a lot of sewer but enough, I think, and I think we have our clouds represented. So that completes the challenge. Next week, the shape is a crescent, and the uh, color it's copper, which is kind of appropriate, isn't the eclipse next week? So that'll be interesting because that's what immediately comes to mind when I think of a crescent is a crescent moon but I'm sure some of you guys will be much more imaginative than that I've seen some great makes for these challenges and I do appreciate you participating and I hope you're having as much fun with it as I am 
So that's it for today. And I will see you guys back for tomorrow for No Digitals Allowed. And um, I hope everybody has a good evening. And I'll see you then. Bye.